what songs people are responding to. Mm -hmm. um, right now, people are responding to almost every song on this EP because, like I said, I broke it down to the songs that I feel the strongest about. Mm -hmm. And um, that's an awesome thing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really not sure what's going to happen with right. it. I, I, right. I hope someone you know jumps on the chance to premiere a single and, mm -hmm. and we roll forward. Um, right, 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 right. You know, I'm just kind of taking... I used to be very strategic about, you know, okay, I want this single, and then I want this video right. out, and then, you know, I want everything out within a week of itself. Right. And now... I, now I just want it to come out. I hear that. <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. You know? Yeah. I'm just like... I'm at the point where I play shows all the time, I tour, I right. feel really good about what I do, mm. and you know, now it's just about getting people to hear it, right? Oh, and, Part of what went into this record is I'm, you know, I, I consider myself to be a rock and roll artist. Right, That's right, what I do. Right, right. But I came from songwriting. You know, I've always been a oh, songwriter. You emerged as the, you know, from the, the, the. I've always been writers. a songwriter. I have a certain affinity to songwriters too. Ah, well, I wrote all these songs. They're that all makes, mine. That makes total sense. <laughs> that makes total sense. So to me, it is very personal, and and, um, you know, taking all of those things and putting them into an album, putting them out there. At this point, it does feel like a collection and a body of work. And mm -hmm. um, nice. but I came out of, like like I was saying was I was came I came out of rock and roll. Mm -hmm. But I always listened to people like Tricky and Placebo and uh, Portishead and kind of those like trip pop people. And, right. and to be honest, people like Missy Elliott who took el take elements of everything. I love Missy Elliott. And her I new singles lie. ridiculous. Like that have always I mean Timbaland. As a producer, Pharrell, as a producer, people like that I've always loved to have mm -hmm. taken elements of a lot of different things. So what I wanted to do with this was take the rock and roll that I love mm -hmm. and expand into the things that I also love but felt like I couldn't touch. Mm, you know I, what I, I mean? That. Like there are things that Keep we always that. feel like, all right, there's that wall there. I can't touch that. Right. I can't. You know, I can't touch elements of trip hop. I can't right, touch elements right. of reggae. I, you know, I'm not comfortable doing that. And I think what I wanted to do this time is say, right. all right, well, I'm comfortable playing rock music. Right, what am I right. uncomfortable doing? Right, right. So I took my songs and let them be rock and roll because mm -hmm. that's what they are. Right, right, right. And then pushed it past that. I love that. And I think the production speaks to that. Um, Especially, you know, part of it for me was like the trip hop electronica kind of shit mm -hmm. that I was like, electronic music, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, but I know, right? You know, <laughs> you but have it's a out there. On there where you like, electronic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, oh, that shit is sour. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, like. <laughs> right, but is, is it possible to make it hot? Yeah, okay. exactly. And I think it's possible to make it a part of what you do as an yes, art form yes. and to be inspired by your friends. Right. I mean, you know, I have friends who do, who are DJs and. I'm so inspired by them. I think yeah. the way that they can take two different songs and merge them in this yes. certain place where they just become this one song. There's yep. like 30 seconds where they're one song. Yep. And yep. it is the fucking coolest thing. Right, right. So, you know, I think you can find inspiration anywhere. Yo, I'll right. I, I love what I do deeply. Right, right. But I think I love people listening to music more. Mm. I love knowing that people are listening mm. more. Mm. And not just to me. Right, right, right. It's, you know, it's not that I love being on stage. I love being on stage. Right, right, right. But I, I, I love the other side of it. I love the connection. Right, right, right. You know, I love knowing that people are hearing something that 
is coming from a deeper place. That it's not, you know, the fact that anyone came out to this show tonight when they could be at like, I don't know, Terminal Five listening to, right. you know, a DJ. Right, right, right. It's right. cool to me, you know. Right, right. And then get it. The fact that rock music is alternative now, like it, it's like the underbelly, right, right, kind of right. feels weird to me, but I'll right. go with it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs>